everybody, welcome back to the season finale of The Smallville Farmer. Uh, as always, at the very end of this episode, there will be bloopers from all season long, all of season two bloopers at the very end of this video. So, uh, today at the farm, we're gonna be grinding a little bit of hay and uh, asking some questions to some cast members that was asked by fans from the last episode. So anyway, stay tuned, it'll be a, a good, fun episode today. So our next question is written by Morgan, and it says, Addison, what is your favorite thing to do on the farm? Um, I have two questions. Two answers. Which, um, I like eating zebra cakes with Roy, and I like riding the John Deere tractor with Bubba. There you go. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. That's typical. Okay, this next question is from Morgan. It's kind of a loaded question, and you get to help me answer it too. Okay, so the first one says, um, "What is your favorite non-farming thing to do at the farm? And how do you balance farming slash working slash family time? Do you ever plan on having any acreage of your own?" Very good question. So my favorite non-farming thing to do would be to go hunting with my brothers. We don't ever get hardly any time just the four of us to go out and hang out and do anything like that. But, you know, we, all, the four of us growing up, we used to hunt all the time together. Every weekend we were hunting. So that's probably my favorite non-farming thing to do. How do you balance farming, working, and family time? You want to help me answer that one? You got nothing? <laughs> It's difficult. It's extremely difficult. I'm fortunate enough that my work allows me to have every Friday off. So I try and do farming on Fridays and Saturdays. And I try, I try, try, try my hardest to have Sundays as church time and family time. But, uh, you know, it, it just comes and goes. There's cer certain parts of the farming season where we're busier than others and there's other types of the farming season where I don't even make it out to the farm on every single weekend. So it's, it just has its give and takes, right? Yeah. yeah. Do I ever plan on, any, on having any acreage of my own? Yeah, once Chelsea buys it for me. <laughs> no, land is so expensive right now. It, holy cow, to buy like one acre of ground would cost $3,000 if not more. So. Maybe one of these days when my house is paid off, then I can actually have some acreage, but it would be nice. It would be nice to have my own farm ground, but yeah, that's not gonna happen for a while. We gotta have more kids first. No. We're out at the farm, we're gonna grind some hay. First thing we're gonna do is get these cold blooded tractors started. Get a little ether going here, boys. Oh, Roy got that cold-blooded sucker going. I'm gonna see if I can't get this one going. And then we're gonna use our big hay buster, our big bite, to grind some hay. <laughs> okay, this question is for Roy. That's me. <laughs> I'm my first. Madison asks, Roy, who's your favorite harvest help at Belmont? There's only one correct answer. Uh, that's a that's a trick question, but uh, I would probably have to go with uh, Madison Warner. Yeah, it yeah, would be yeah. Madison Warner. Okay. That's my favorite. There you go. Always will be. <laughs> That's pretty bad. You're pretty desperate for help then. We are desperate. <laughs> Addison, what can you tell me about these cows out here? What colors are tags? Uh, ours? Yep. Purple. Good. I see Judith. Yep, she's out there. We're just waiting on the tractors to warm up, right? Yes. Yeah. Because it's cold, boys. It's, cold. it's real cold. It's cold. So this is what we worked for all summer long. 
is we get all these hay bales ready so then we can grind them here and then feed them for the cows so they have something to eat during the winter. Boy's gonna get the old grinder backed up here to the pile and we're gonna start grinding some hay. So we're gonna be in the grinding tractor here for a minute or two. Oh, Roy's just taking it easy over there. Typical. Tommy gets up and does something. Come on, Roy. Put it in a faster gear. It ain't moving. We got hay to grind. The cows are hungry. We're gonna see if we can't wake Addison up. She's over there in the other tractor. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> She's awake now. Take another nap, I'm sorry. I'm not napping anymore because I'm not tired because of yep. Alright, here comes another bail, boys. Come on, Roy, time's money. Or money is time, or whatever it is. Time for another bail. Oh, wait, it's right there. Come on, Roy, put that bail in, boys. Oh, here he goes. He woke up. He was taking a nap. There she goes, bobbed her down. So the next question is from Jack is me, and he asks, well, he's basically telling me, 
on the episode where I was trying to get the Ford tractor to start because the uh, battery I thought was dead. He, he basically told me to uh, go get a voltmeter so I wouldn't I wouldn't waste so much time trying to start that tractor because what it turned out to be was the battery was fine but the uh, there was a sensor on one of the clutch pedals that was not letting the motor engage. So it was a safety thing more than a battery thing. So Jack is me. I will definitely get a voltmeter for season three. Nothing done around here, can you? Jeez. <laughs> still over there grinding but guess what we're all hungry we're starving it's like one o'clock we missed dinner anyway if you guys all enjoy the smallville farmer please give us a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe that's right we're gonna go check back in with roy after we get something to eat so delinda asked the question can we build a metal top for that for this bin to keep the grain from rotting well, we probably could, but the problem with this bin is Joe and Larry built it, so it's not really square. So it's gonna be extremely difficult to build some type of octagon, pentagon, square thingamajig for the top, trying to match what Joe and Larry did for the base. So we could, but it'd be extremely difficult. All right, we're done with lunch. We're actually gonna go see what's shaking out at the shop, isn't that right? Roy was taking a pretty good nap. So we let him sleep on the couch. He's gonna finish grinding hay this afternoon, but we're gonna go see what Joe and Larry are up to. We made it out to the shop. Sounds like they got the heater on. I hope they do, cause I'm cold. Let's go see what knowledge is brewing in the shop. We're out at the shop, gaining all kinds of infinite wisdom out here. So this question was asked by Jack is me and it says thinking back to season two episode nine the mistake was made with soybeans getting sprayed with the wrong chemical does one collect crop insurance will insurance cover that or do the soybeans go to complete waste or can you do something else with the soybeans what do you say No. And when they were sprayed with Liberty, we couldn't feed it to cattle. Correct. Yeah, that was terrible. So we used it as a cover crop. That was a mistake. <laughs> I wish you not touched it. Yeah. Because they came back. They did. They came back with a vengeance. Yeah. We could put water on them right away and wash some of that stuff on them. Yep. So if it, if it, it did. So if anybody ever sprays, what was it, Pioneer beans? Okay. So if they're not liberty resistant, here's what you do. Learn from our mistake. Kick on your system really fast and wash that shit off. <laughs> so, oh, she's so talkative. We just uh, soaked up tons of knowledge out at the shop and got some great soybean uh, information on what to do and what not to do on soybeans. We've got one more stop, one more surprise to conclude the season finale. So 
We're headed there right now. So we made it to the surprise, the very last part of season two. Here it is. How sweet is this? Check it out. T-shirts. Larry, the small little farmer. And they all have their own little sayings on it. Look at that. <laughs> Here's another one. These are the best. These are just so sweet. There's another one there. <laughs> and of course, all of these sayings just happen to be from season two. That is just too sweet. Katie did an awesome job. Thanks. <laughs> so as season two comes to an end, is there anything you guys want to see on season three? Anything at all? Do you want to see more drone footage? Do you want to see more cutting wheat? Anything at all? I don't know. Anything? No. Nothing? Maybe more drone. More drone. Yeah. Yeah? I do like the drone, actually. Yeah. Okay, but. more drone. Anything you want to see on season three? Drone. More cows. Mm -hmm. More cows? More there cows. you go. Well, good thing I bought more cows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everybody for tuning in to the uh, Smallville Farmer and uh, it's it's been a great 2022. I've really enjoyed making season two for you guys. Can't wait to do it again next year for season three. If you can, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. That gets the channel out there, get it, get it promoted so everybody else can discover the joy of the Smallville Farmer. Anyway, um, make sure you watch this video all the way to the very end. I almost forgot. All the bloopers from season two are at the very end of this episode. So anyway, uh, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you all in 2023. Alright, here we go. Hi everybody, welcome back to another... Blah. Um, 2022, what am I trying to say here? That gummit. Alright, take two. Three, two, one. Hi everybody, welcome back. Oh my gosh, seriously? Well, we got our wash and wax today. We got the fluid levels checked. We got the auger fixed. That's take two. Oh, gosh. Test. There we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dang allergies. Goodness gracious. So quick. That's exciting. Uh, hopefully this afternoon. Oh crap! That gummit. Hey, no, no, hey, no, 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 no. no. That looks better. Freaking slicker snot here. Alright, let's try that. Hopefully it doesn't slide over there. What? Good construction. Yeah. I 
Well, I prefer a good T-bone or ribeye. How about you? Huh? What's your favorite steak? Motor down there, grinding. That's something, bitch. Sure. You, can, you can work on something in Mulvane from right here with that. <laughs> Christmas tree. I go around. That's the way you gotta eat them. You can't skip every other one. You gotta go. I'm sure glad his day job is an electrician. So this is what we worked for all winter long. Or bleh. there we go. That's pretty good. This hat. I can't sit in this hat. I sit like that. Oh, Ooh, boys. Oh, yeah, this is looking slick. Boy, you're showing me. It's uncomfortable as heck. Good morning, everybody. Uh, ooh, that's terrible. If that's stupid, I've already said all that. We're going to do it again. Three, two, one. Let's go. The what? Oh, bam! Man, you're really good. How did people in the '70s wear this crap? Jeez. All right, three, two, one. Are you ready? That's stupid, I don't want to say that. That was such a good take, too. Dang it. Okay. Hey, is it stopped? I don't know. Come here, Three. Thank you all. We'll see you next year. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.